everybody, my name is Katie, welcome to my channel and welcome to the bookshelf tour. As you can see from the title of this video, we're doing something super exciting, something never been done before on my channel before, and that is a bookshelf tour. So if you don't know, I'm getting ready to literally downsize to an RV. So I've been pretty much getting rid of almost all of my books and I'm going to continue to get rid of more books. But I failed to film a bookshelf tour when I had my beautiful three bookshelves. I'll put a picture of it here. I wanted to film a bookshelf tour of that so bad, but I totally forgot. And then I got super hyper in the middle of the night and like literally got rid of almost all of my books on it. So unfortunately, this tour is going to be just one bookshelf. It's going to be this shelf right here that we are touring today. It is my main and only shelf now. It is full of books that I have read and loved and they are the ones that are gonna be competing against each other to see which ones get to go into my RV. So yeah. Without further ado, let's just get like right into the bookshelf tour. This is a general overview of the shelf. It is pretty self-explanatory in the way it's organized. It was originally all fantasy, but I do have some books that are not fantasy on here. So let's just like get into it. So this is the top shelf. Sorry it, if it's at a weird angle. I don't have a tripod that reaches like this height. I have just a little globe that I got from the dollar store. I have this cool statue of a girl reading that I was gifted years ago. I have a picture of me and my best friend Shay at my high school graduation and a skeleton hand. I clearly have the Twilight books and the movie covers, which I love, and the host, which I love. And then I have the Akatar series right here, but those are actually my mom's copies I have to bring back to her. Okay, now for a more reasonable level of height. So this is one of my favorite shelves. It has my favorite books on it. Well, all these are favorite books, but Tiger's Curse series I absolutely love. Obviously, The Shadow and Bone I love. I love the Chaos Walking trilogy. So good. The movie's trash, though. So I have my little Disney Funko Pops from the movie Raya and the Last Dragon. So I have Raya, Sisu, and Namari. I love that movie so much. It's so good. I can't wait till it comes out on DVD. Or on Disney Plus. I'm going to rewatch it over and over again. And then I have my annotated copies of Shadow and Bone. Absolutely love. Highly recommend the TV show as well. My annotated copies of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdoms. I have not read King of Scars or Rule of Wolves yet. That's on my June TBR. So watch out for that. All these I absolutely love. And a fun fact actually. Gotta move these guys over. This copy of Beautiful Creatures, I almost got rid of, but I've had it since it came out. And um, I'm going to show you some like information about my younger self. Um, I wrote in it and I said, if found, return to Myrtle Beach Middle School, which is a school I went to for like one year. Like to the library to Dr. Reagan, who was their librarian. I don't know if she's still a librarian, but I thought that was cool. So I kept it because it has that personal touch on it. So let me just get that back in there. These cute little Funko Pops on the end, I actually made. They are book characters for my book, Blood Voyager. If you didn't know, I wrote a book called Blood Voyager. It's a crime fiction novel that follows a detective, Henry Finch, and a commander in the military, Laura Fitzgerald, as they are trying to solve the murder on the spaceship, the ESS Voyager. So we have Captain Hollinger, McGurk, and Laura. Laura is one of my main characters and this is her. She's so cute. I'm so proud of myself for how well she came out. McGurk, I had to change the skin tone of this Funko Pop and then it wasn't like, it was like a weird texture. So then I try to like gloss it with nail polish. Don't recommend because now he looks a little weird, but I love him. He's my favorite character from my own book. And then I have Captain Hollinger and all her badassery, so. Next shelf is another really chaotic shelf. I have a crown here that I just got from Amazon for like $5. I have a little trinket dish that I got from Fairy Loot and it has all my jewelry in it. I have this cute little music box, I don't know why I was on top of that, that my most recent ex-boyfriend gave me and it's very very cute i wish it would focus it's very cute it's handmade and then i have a wax candle right here that smells really good but it's obviously not lit 
So these books, Cruel Prince series, I have the From Blood and Ash series, which I'm thinking about maybe unhauling. I have this beautiful edition of Ray Bearer. If you haven't read Ray Bearer, you definitely should. First off, Jordan Ofueko, the author, is an absolute doll. She is so sweet, but this cover is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can tell, because I didn't tell right away, but this is a face. The eyes, nose, lips. It's beautiful. It's honestly so beautiful. And then the stenciled edges. Oh, I love it. I got this from Fairy Loot, by the way. And then I have another fabulous book that you should check out. Milk Blood Heat by Dantiel Moniz. This is a series of short stories all set in Florida and it is all about girlhood and relationships and growing up in South Florida. It's really good. It's really good. I don't even know how to describe it, but the stories are just so good. Also, this is a plug because Dantiel Moniz is one of my favorite humans ever. She was my creative writing professor in college and she's just an absolute doll as well. Please check it out and support her. I have this arc of Again But Better that is signed. My friend Kim got it for me because Christine Riccio used to be one of my favorite booktubers. And Kim got this arc when she was at Y'all Fest and decided to let me have it. So I really love that so much. Uh, it is like probably one of my favorite gifts I've ever gotten. Actually, Kim has gotten me like a lot of books on the shelf, which is kind of funny. I have my favorite Colleen Hoover books, Without Merit, Verity, Too Late, and It Ends With Us, all very good. I have this cute book, which is called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse that my friend Yaz gifted me for Christmas, and it is also very near and dear to my heart. Absolutely love it. I have this copy of The Great Gatsby, which is actually the first copy that I ever read, and it is the first book I've ever annotated. I read this in seventh grade, and it is literally falling apart, but I couldn't imagine getting rid of it because it is so special. Then I have The Dwelling Place, The Giver, Catherine House, The Winter People, highly recommend The Winter People, so good. And It by Stephen King, which is controversial and it is problematic, especially that one scene with the kids. But I do, oh gosh, I do love Pennywise as a villain. He is my favorite villain, so I do really enjoy that one. This next shelf is my Sarah J Mass shelf, so we are not going to spend a lot of time on here because I don't know how I feel about Sarah J Mass yet. Uh, but they are on my bookshelf and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep them or not. If you don't know what's going on with Sarah J Mass, just check Instagram or book Twitter like everybody's talking about it. So first off I have this cute mermaid from Under the Sea Crochet on Instagram and Etsy. I think she's still on Etsy. She might have her own shop now but it is Feyre from Starfall and it is so cute. I got this so long ago and I absolutely adore it. Then I have the Reese plushie from one of the book boxes. I bought this off of a friend because he's super cute. I also have these two Aelin and Manon under the sea crochets as well and they're super good quality as you can tell. And then I have this cute little Colosseum that I actually got when I was in Rome many a year ago and it broke right here but I think it just makes it look more like the actual Colosseum but it's super cute. It is the only souvenir for my Europe trip <laughs> that I have left. Then I have, obviously, House of Earth and Blood. I have the Illumicrate Dust Jackets of Akatar in the Throne of Glass series. This is the original first edition hardcover that is signed by Sarah J. Mass. And it is annotated. I do annotate all my books. So, And this is my original copy of A Court of Mist and Fury that I have annotated. So, yep, that's it. I mean, Sarah J. Mass is pretty self-explanatory, so... We don't need to spend a ton of time on her. This next shelf is just a bunch of miscellaneous fantasy books that I absolutely adore. Obviously, right here we have a Kristoff and Sven Funko Pop because I adore Frozen so much. Love, 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 love Frozen 2 so much. So we have Priory of the Orange Tree, which is an amazing adult fantasy. I absolutely love this one. We have The Darkest Minds, which is one of the first books that I read when I got into, like, booktube and stuff. And I love this so much because I met Alexandra Bracken, she signed it to me, and when she signed this, I told her how I was writing a book and how I hoped one, like, I was, 
I was so excited to meet her because I loved this book so much and it changed like my life and I was writing a book too and then she told me that she hoped one day she could stand in my line and get a book signed by me and I just thought that was like the best thing ever when I was like in eighth grade or something like that whenever or, I guess I was ninth grade when this came out yeah I just thought that was the best thing ever it was it was so cool she's so sweet and then I have Legend Born by Tracy Dion, which I absolutely love. Ninth House, which I'm considering getting rid of because I didn't love it. But I have all of Leigh Bardugo's other books, and she is one of my favorite authors. So I'm on the fence about this one. Pure Nessie, which is one of my favorite books of all time. Enchantment of Ravens, which I absolutely adore. Nevernight, which I'm also considering getting rid of, but I haven't decided yet. Um, the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which is another one that I gave three stars, just like Ninth House, that I'm like not quite sure if I want to get rid of it yet. Uh, Girls, Paper, and Fire. I have the first two books. Absolutely adore these. Girls of Storm and Shadow. This is the Fairy Loot Edition. It has the original jacket under it, and then this one came later. They mailed it. Kim also got me that, and I absolutely love it, so thank you very much, Kim. And then I have my Brandon Sanderson books. So the original um, Miss Bourne trilogy, which are all annotated, and then The Way of Kings, which I've annotated, and Oathbringer. And my bottom shelf, which is an absolute disaster. I have this cool Colosseum stand thing, which I have to get rid of, unfortunately. But I got this at a thrift store, and it's pretty cool. I have two herbs, these cool bookends from Fairy Loot, which are okay. I have the two volumes of book things from Fairy Loot. I just keep, like all the fairy loot stuff in here because that's just what made the most sense to me at the time so that's cool I have this lovely box that my mother actually gave me and I don't know how long this has been in the family but it's really cool and I just keep like seashells and cool rocks and stuff in here uh, so yeah there's there's that and now the books. So over here I have the collector's edition of Throne of Glass and A Court of Thorns and Roses. I have the two hardcovers of the Percy Jackson series, Battle of the Labyrinth and The Last Olympian, which I don't want to get rid of because they were so hard to find. And obviously I don't even have the rest of the series, so, you know. I have the original hardcovers of the Heroes of Olympus series, which I will never be getting rid of because they changed the covers for these two, and so you can't find these anymore. Um, I have the entire Saga graphic novel series here, which is my favorite graphic novel series of all time. I love it so much. It's so good. Then I have the Wolf Song series by T.J. Klune, another problematic author. His book, House on the Cerulean Sea, which I will not be reading, was based off of some indigenous school thing that was going on in Canada a long time ago, and so we do not like him anymore, I guess. But... I do love Wolf Song. I absolutely love these books so much. So, so much. And then I have this arc of The Seventh Sun by Lanny Forbes. And it is so good. This is like Avatar meets the selection. Highly recommend. I also have my original arc of Ray Bearer by Jordan Ofeco, which is annotated. I will never get rid of this either. Ray Bearer is, again, one of my favorite books of all time. I also have an arc of Girls of Storm and Shadow, which is also annotated. Absolutely love this. Those are my three out of four arcs that I own, so highly recommend. Well, not the arcs, but the books. <laughs> I also have this great edition, first, ed sign eh. first edition that is signed by Jay Kristoff of Dark Dawn, which Kim gifted me and I annotated. So, yeah. Thanks, Kim. You're the best. And then I have Crown of Feathers, which this is the Alcrate exclusive edition, and it is annotated, and I absolutely just love this book, like, cover and everything. I did give this book five stars. I have to reread it so I can read the sequel, because I don't remember anything, but I do remember loving it. So, yeah. That's the entire bookshelf tour, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.